Hello Battle Lauren. Today we're going to run through a, another quick loadout. This one is actually quite interesting. I, I came across this one um, by clearly by accident. Uh, what we have here is um, I'm playing a character with a shield, but I've got negative stat items that affect my shield recharge delay, which is terrible normally, except um, it just re it just uh, affects how quickly it takes for my shields to recharge, to kick in, right? Except that I have Friction Fizz. Now, Friction Fizz is awesome because it overrides uh, a couple of things. One, it, it reduces your, your if, if you're sprinting, it reduces your uh, shield recharge delay to three seconds instead of five seconds. So if, if your shields are down, you think you're in the clear, you, you sprint and you run. Second of all, um, if you've been hit with something that uh, that negatively affects your shield recharge delay, like a, um, a destabilizing shot by somebody who says uh, now your shield recharge delay is eight seconds or ten seconds, um, that's terrible. Uh, so it, but this, but anything, any item or skill that immediately causes your shield to recharge negates that, right? Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But the third thing is, is that Galt actually has a really powerful shield recharge. Okay, so when we put this, we put this item to use. Let's see, we check, we check, just check some random stuff here. Okay, we put this stuff to use. We get down to level three. We have barrier. He's got extra shield and 105 shield recharge per second. And what's nice is, is that while you're reloading, you could sit there and sprint for three seconds while you're closing the gap or do whatever, and your shields will kick in. Um, that's what's really helpful. Now everything else is kind of irrelevant. I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick stuff just because it's because. All right, so what's nice is, is that uh, he's got 540 shield by default. We're gonna go ahead and give him, um, let's do this, let's do this two different ways. Let's do this without the negative, so we get hit by stuff. It's gonna take our shields down, okay? We're stopped, okay, we're gonna sprint. One, two, three, there it kicks in, okay? So it kicks in that way, and the second way it kicks in is, well, I think he's got it on, uh, well, that's pretty much the only way it kicks in on this mode. So, because I don't have any um, other items that would do it. But three seconds is better than five seconds, if you, you, you can tell. You can hit around the corner while he's reloading. Three seconds is a great re re great timer. All right, pretty good timer. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, kick this in, put those two in, and we're going to see how long it takes for your shield recharge without sprinting, okay? So I have to walk away from the fight, basically. Uh, and you'll see the huge, huge, dramatic difference. Actually, it doesn't have to all the way go, go all the way down, but you'll see the dramatic difference. Okay, I'm not sprinting. I'm walking away. I should be able to avoid the fire. See how long it's taking for my shields to recharge? Oh, gosh. That's it's horrible, right? But if I take a little more damage... Oh, I can't get them to attack me. Three seconds versus what would be five plus... Two seconds, so seven seconds versus three seconds. So just, just if you're always in the nature of hitting that sprint button when you run away, one, two, three, see it kicks in even when you're taking damage. Here's the other question. Now, if we are taking damage and sprinting, what happens? Like, are we gonna sit there? Eh, I hear you hear that, hear that the shield kick in sound. I think it's every three seconds I'm getting. As long as I'm running around, it's kicking in. So here you go. So if you, man, if we had a, ever had a capture the flag lo loadout, this is it, right? It's recharging as we're taking damage. It's kicking in every three seconds. Now, of course, we're getting hit and it's stopping the recharge, but it's nice to know that that that's happening. That was pretty cool because we basically were holding those those minions there without even actually shooting them because remember when you sh when you fire or, or jump you, a lot of times you're out of the you're out of the um sprint mode come on gall it's like right in front of you with a shotgun anyways so that there's your proof positive that this is actually a pretty pretty cool so we've cheated by getting cheaper cheaper epic items the fickle Re rejuvenating stalker rounds and the fickle rejuvenating can I scale mail 
we got we ch we, were, we got we cheated and got them cheaper with the negative stat. It makes them cheaper by like three hundred and some uh, shards each. It's because we got friction fizz, and not only that, but friction fizz gave us a little more sprint speed, which Galt really needs. Okay, recoil, which isn't too terrible, uh, but it, it makes our shield recharge not only once we've started running, but as we're running. And that, that recharge negates the two effects of the other two items, which is great. So, hands up for this one. I really like this. Um, there's there's got to be other people, other reasons why you would want to use Friction Fizz. Maybe on a, a um, I don't know, some other melee characters. And then you can look for, uh, instead of having a rejuvenating stalker round, uh, you can have, uh, let me see, that's, that's Eldred. So uh, you'll have to find an. I'll have to find a negative for that uh, shield recharge light. But there's only going to be three, right? There's only be three or four. And I believe that other the elder Eldred one has negative sh maximum shield. So who knows what the? I don't remember what the negative shield recharge delay is for the third one. But it's going to be an Eldred item. So the first two are Eldred, Eldred items. The last one, friction fizz, is a UPR item. Okay. So you find that in UPR packs, UPR command packs, or legendary packs. All right. Uh, catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it.